Okay, next we're going to look at carpal tunnel syndrome. We're going to look at um, the pain a patient can present with, and typically they might have some issues coming into the forearm, the flexor tendons, where the median nerve will travel down through the carpal tunnel, and they could have pain into the thumb, the index, the middle, and half a ring finger. So they might present with some form of numbness, tingling, pain in this sort of area in here. So you might find one of the causes of the pain is a tenosynovitis of the flexor tendons. So we're actually going to offload the flexor tendons. So I've got a, an eye strip where I've prepped the end and I've put almost like two sort of like ears on the end of either side. If you look at the back of the tape, it's almost to the, the first square. Um, first of all, what we're going to do is just peel it back and just feed off those two. We're actually going to start with the elbow and extension and the wrist flexion. So we're just going to stretch for the flexor tendons. And we're just going to apply this. This is going to be onto the hypophenar eminence, and this is going to be on the phenar eminence of the thumb, like so, and the carpal tunnel will drift in between. And then pull up back, and then little to no stretch, but you still want to put a little bit of stretch on, so because if you just literally laid it down, it'd look untidy, so a little bit of stretch, so about 10 to 15 percent. And then remember, no stretch on the end, so these lugs are just going to feed out. But what I'd like to do with these is just open them up a little bit and just lay them down with no stretch onto that medial side and onto that lateral side. Using the back of the tape again, we can just heat activate the adhesion so it makes it a bit stickier and we can leave it on for a few days and hopefully the symptoms might reduce into the hand and into the forearm. Okay.